What's good, YouTube? It's Magane in the flesh. Hey, look at the camera. And we're back with an anime video, surprisingly. <laughs> I know it's been a minute since I talked anime, but fair enough, I was out of town. Mm. I was out of town. Going back home, visiting family. You know how things go. I might... Actually, I think I have some footage I could show you. But beyond that, while I was out of town, I haven't been watching anime. So I've actually missed quite a bit. My computer's that way. I actually missed quite a bit of the shows that were coming out. So I'm going to be late on this boat. But there was one show that did catch my attention that I think is worth a video. And that is... Let me see if I can get this right. Zom 100 or Zombie ni Zombie ni naru made ni shitai hyaku no koto or Zom 100 bucket list of the dead. And I'll say we deserve better zombie shows. But before I get into it, I'm going to say what I did like about the show because there is some merit in the show. The show So let's let's go do let's Go do a quick little background real quick. The show was, it's under Big Film Studios, produced by Shogakukan Shueisha Productions, and also Dugout. I'm assuming that's Dugout Productions, but we'll see. Mm. But basically the premise of the show, it follows this guy named, let me scroll down, guy named Tendo-san. And he ends up in a corporation that he's less than stellar about to the point where he'd rather experience a zombie apocalypse. But we, I got some notes. I actually took notes this time. <laughs> I used to just do this on the fly and, you know, drink responsibly. Mm. But we'll talk about what we did like. So first thing that I did like about this show was the humor. It actually had some funny humor in the beginning with the work talk banter. And how they were going about it. So if I only seen one episode, that's all I need to see to know what this show is going to be about. But beyond that, the humor was pretty good in the beginning of the episode. I did like that humor interaction and how they played that out in the show. And that actually, that's, that's actually what drew me in because I was like, oh yeah, you know, I, we, we've all been on the job scene, you know, we've all had the friendly co-worker competition, co-worker compensation, whether we use, comp you know, whether we use our vacation time or not. I had that experience when I worked in the deli. Mm. So that really drew me in. And another thing that drew me in, that's number one. Number two that drew me in was the scene transition. The scene transitions were pretty smooth in the beginning too. Like when he fell off his chair and things like that, but I'll, I'll I'll put some clips in there to show you the scene transitions of what I'm talking about. But other than that, we got some things to talk about in this show. So that was a good about this show. Now let's start to get to why I say we deserve better zombie shows because I should probably log in. Hold on, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this video. I'm gonna log into my anime list because I forget the name of the show that I was gonna reference. You know what? Scratch that. We're not even going to make it about that show. We're going to make it about this show, Zom 100, because it was very, very. So, cons. What I didn't like about this show. What I didn't like about this show was that this situation. Now, granted, I understand that this is supposed to be a show and it's supposed to teach you something. But the lack of job research, that whole, that whole situation that Tendo had to go through could have been avoided had he done his research on his job it's like he didn't ask any current or former employees about that position that he was getting into so it was like it came as a surprise to him and I was like you know it's 20 regardless of what time scene it takes place you could do job research you can ask current and former employees on how the job is so you could have gotten you could have avoided that whole situation. Mm. And that's one. That's one thing I did like. Number two, I did not like how they went colorful with the blood. 
That didn't make any sense to me. I don't understand. If you're trying to make it a zombie apocalypse show, why is there blue and green colored blood? As soon as I saw that, I, it, it lost me. Because I was like, what is that? I was like, he's supposed to be like the Joker? When, the, you know, when you see the first zombie. I'm like, what is it supposed to be like a Joker type of color theme? And I was like, oh, okay, it lost me. Then I saw it all over the place. And I was like, okay, this isn't really, this isn't really a zombie apocalypse show, is it? And, you know, you, you do what you want. You can watch the anime that you want, but for me, that's bullshit. Moving on from that. Another thing I didn't like was the scarcity mindset that Buddy had when he was trying to talk to that girl. What was her name? Otori-san? Yeah, that was it. So, f first day on the job, he meets the girl that he likes. And I'm like, okay, cool. You know, maybe not the best ideal situation to date your coworkers. You know, it's going to end up like the Office television series, like, if you, you know, go that route. But he ends up finding out that Otori-san is a mistress to the CEO of the company. And despite knowing this, he still tries to pursue her after three years of this. It's like, dude, she chose to be the mistress. You know, you, you, I mean, you could do what you can, do what you want, but it's like, she's getting dicked down by the CEO. And it's like, okay, dude, you know, there's plenty of women out there. You could, but I just came back from, I just came back from getting my routine eye exam. And boy, I felt like, I, it felt like I never left the house on uh, how beautiful some of them women were in there. Boy, I t <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let me not get into it, but boy, yeah. Yeah, it was, whew, it was something else. So I was like, I was like, I started feeling rakish. I was like, dang, all these beautiful women. But he only had one, and I'm like, you were stuck on that one, and then she turned into a zombie and still was like, oh, well, let me go confess to her. I'm like, dude, you got to have more options than that. But yeah, that's the one thing I did not like, the scarcity mindset. And the reason why I did not like it is because I don't want you thinking that you don't have options. He might, have had a, he might not have had options, but I'm telling you right now, you got options. There's 7, 8 billion people on this planet. 50% of them at least is women. You have options, you know? But that's topic number two I did not like. Actually, that was three. And then the last one was like, he got so burnt out to the point where he was going suicidal at the job. And granted, I know the, the, the job structuring is different in Japan than it is in America. But dude, you got to own up to your actions. You screwed up. Yes, you, 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 you joined a shit company. You know, you got, what are you going to do to get yourself out that situation? If you really want to get out that situation... You're going to make plans to get out of that situation, regardless of what the company wants from you. If the company wants that from you, I know you, I know you want to do a good job and do a great job. But look, dog, if that company is ruining you, you got to go. You know what I'm saying? Quit and recuperate. Don't stay there thinking that something's going to change when nothing changes. That's insanity. Expecting something to change when nothing happens. But the zombie apocalypse happens. And he... It, it was really confusing because it was like he was so liberated and so free. But I'm like, dog, you don't understand what the trade off is. It's like, so instead of going to find a new job, now you got to work on survival. You got to work on food, water and shelter. And that's every day, every day. You go to a convenience store, that's limited supply now. If there's a zombie apocalypse going on, there's not going to be people to work in those industries to keep making that stuff. I was like, it, it was just stupid. It, it... <sighs> That, that's all I got to say about that video. I don't know. I'm not sure who. I'm not sure who this show is for, but I'm telling you right now, you can go find a, a better zombie show. Actually, there is one. I forget what the one was. It was this like cute girls doing zombie apocalypse. I forgot the name of it and I forgot my mallet information. <laughs> so I got to go get that or just recover. It's just a password. I remember the name, but man. As you'd rather you'd rather go through a zombie apocalypse than go try to find another job or fix your mistakes. To me, that just sounds like lack of accountability. And I, I and I, I want I want people to be at least accountable for their own actions. He, he's like he's, it's like he's he's like he's thinking it's not his fault. You took the job. 
you know? But anyways, that's all I got to say about that show. I just wanted to put my two cents out there for that show because I don't think it's worth the time. Well, look, when you try to be when you're trying to make yourself high value and self improve self improvement, that's what I'm on, self improvement. And recognizing your mistakes is part of that self improvement. And this show just shows that, oh, if I go through a zombie apocalypse, all my problems will be over. No. You got to deal with the zombies and food, water and shelter and then all the and then other people trying to survive. So you you see the trade off you see the trade off I'm trying to get at. But anyways, you know, that's just what I got from episode one. But we're done talking about that show. But I got a bonus, bonus little surprise for everybody. Uh, this actually came today. Luckily, this has been a good day today. This was actually supposed to arrive tomorrow, but it came today. Now, you guys know I'm into Gumpla. Ooh, yeah. And I got myself a new kit. You know I'm the wingman, so I got to show you what I got that just came today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I can even... There we go. Boom. I got myself that Wing Zero Verka. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, man. You know, truth be told, when I saw the Wing Proto Zero, I was like, a, 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 a Wing Zero Custom Verka was, it was, it was on the way. I'm going to put it on the other side because I got my Beyond the Boundary up there. That's a good show. That's worth, that's at least worth a shake compared to Zom 100. But, I knew they was going to come out with a Wing Zero custom for a car. It was just a matter of time. And I finally got my hands on one. I had an Amazon gift card, so that's why it just went pew. But another one to add to the collection. And I can't wait to get working on this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to do custom colors. And I haven't even opened the box yet. The plastic's still here. I can show you every... Well, I can't even unbox it for you, but I'm not going to unbox it just yet. We'll, we'll see if that... We might, that might be it for another video, but... Also, a little special bonus I wanted to show you. The Wing Zero Custom Vert Car is in. And of course, you know we're going to be comparing that to the perfect grade. We're also going to be comparing that to the real grade that I showed you in another video. You know, just size and detail and stuff like that. Things like that. But this came out, ooh, eh, got a little, I don't know if this is box damage, but I'm not really going to let it slide. I'm uh, not really, eh. That wasn't from the, uh, that wasn't from shipping, that was from the seller. So, yeah, I'll say that's just one point off. But that's some exciting news to celebrate. And on that note, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you, I hope you learned something from my impressions from Zom 100. That's, you know, this, sh this shows you how much you can get out of one episode and what it will tell you. And I want you to do better. But this is going to be Magane signing out. Peace.